Uh, yeah, that's easy. Can you not? Can you eat all right? Yeah. Uh, that is too short. Look, I can. Can you not? No. Because you're short. Ha <laughs> ha Mommy can't do anything. Yeah, Mommy's short too. Okay, Jack, we're going to let Mama do her makeup because it usually takes a really long time because because we're kind of distracting. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we have a good day today. We Well, we were supposed to have a meeting to help finish our basement, but we had to cancel that. We have some stuff going on, and Derek can't even really walk right now. We'll get into that later. And no, it's not his knees this time. <laughs> You just can't catch a break. I have a broken husband. I don't know how long I will have a broken husband, but it feels like it's been months because I guess it has been months. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready while Sunny's sleeping because if both kids are awake, they kind of just find me and then they start throwing my makeup everywhere. So I probably have about 10 minutes to get ready. Oh, I got a really cute box of fall clothes. Okay, I know fall technically is not happening yet, but I get so excited to wear sweaters and cute fall clothes. And we've been in Hawaii the last six years. So I got some stuff on ThreadUp and I'm gonna do a little try on haul for you guys. I'm so excited. The crazy thing is the weather has actually been cold enough the last few days for fall clothes. I don't know what happened. It went from 90 degrees to like, 60s and today it's like yeah, it sitting perfect up. at no i'm talking about the weather with my friends <laughs> it's been around like 70 degrees but in the mornings it's cold in the nights it's cold so it actually is time to start breaking out some fall stuff so i'm excited i haven't tried on any of the stuff so it'll be kind of fun Okay, makeup is done. I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna use my wave wand. This is my go-to 15 minute hair. Okay, so I actually did half of my head in four minutes and 20 seconds. Okay, that's actually insane. That took me seven minutes and 15 seconds. Where's yours? My hair. Look. You're so talented. I thought it would take me 15 minutes, but it took me seven. Now I'm just gonna do my bangs. Good morning, Sam. The hair. The hair in this house is always crazy. Hi, sis. I missed you, happy girl. Whoa. Here comes Sunny. What? We gotta do some brushing of the hair. You guys got crazy hair. She wants mama. Mama see me. Mama see me. Mommy. Mama see me. You're stuck with me now, boy. <laughs> oh no, he got away. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Hold you. Hold him, mommy. I would say I hold you. Climb, climb. Ah, my Super mama. Let's go get my mama. Bye. Yeah, let's go to that big mommy basket. Mommy is a super say? mama. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so Derek and the kids just went to the park. 
I just think it's so crazy because Jack is not even three yet and he is riding an e-bike and he does it so well. His first time doing it was last week and it took him like four tries to just get up and just go. Honestly, kid's talented. I, however, am staying here. I have a few house projects to do. There's a little accent chest that I'm gonna put right here in the entry to our bedroom and then I'm gonna put the mirror up on the wall. And I'm sorry we haven't given you guys like a full house tour yet. I thought it was gonna be a lot quicker than this. I think I had unrealistic expectations of moving in. Maybe we could have done it, but Derek just can't even really help me. So I'm just like building all these things and trying to do all the boxes and organize everything. So it's been hard, but slowly it's coming together. I think by, I wanna say next week. Okay, I'm not even gonna say that because I feel like it probably won't have it. Two weeks, give me two weeks and I think I can do it. And, oh, almost forgot. I'm gonna do the try-on haul with all the fall clothes from ThreadUp. Maybe I'll do that first and then I'll start doing the other stuff. All right, let's get started with the try-on haul. I'm so excited. I went a little crazy because ThreadUp is like my favorite thing in the world. If you guys don't know what ThreadUp is, it's basically an online thrift store. So I'm all about finding like a really good price. My mom has just raised me that way. And ThreadUp is like the perfect shop for me. Okay, so here's all the stuff that I got. It will pretty much be my entire fall wardrobe this year so let's try some of it on okay here is the first outfit it was so hard to pick because I feel like there were so many cute things and I could honestly mix and match a ton of them but I just love thread up because you can get everything at such a good price these boots estimated retail price of $255 I got them for $46.99 and then this skirt is from Zara it has an estimated retail price of $38 and I got it for $18.99 the shirt from Forever 21 had an estimated retail price of $20 and I got it for $11.99 so I'm pumped about this. So the best part about ThreadUp sponsoring this video is that they gave me a code to share with you guys. You can get 40% off of the already great prices that they have if you use code Sarah40. I'm gonna put it on the screen so you can get a really, really good discount. I would definitely use that and get yourself some fall clothes. You are not gonna regret it. Okay, I went a little more comfy, cozy, casual on this outfit. I'm in love with this. This pink jacket. Okay, I just wanna wear this every day. Again, another great deal on these i got this jacket from bdg and then the jeans are from princess polly i love how they fit they fit me perfectly i am stoked on this and it's so comfy okay we're two for two on the outfits hopefully we can keep the momentum going okay we're going a little more dressy i love this and i feel like it would be really cute to pair it with like a jean jacket or something but also i can say this is the first thing i've ever bought from madewell because it's just a little more expensive and i don't normally shop there estimated retail price of this was $127 and I got it for $38.99 and then these boots are from Zara their estimated retail price was $171 and I got them for $63.99 it's so crazy okay I just switched that dress out with another dress that I got and I'm pretty sure this is the comfiest dress that I own right now so this one is from originally from Earthbound Trading Company I honestly have not been let down by one piece of clothing that I've got from Thread Up. Derek just walked in and said he That's a sick outfit. He loves my outfit. That's I'm stoked. I feel like a lot, at least when we first got married, he never really said much about my outfits because I kind of, in his defense, dressed like an older mom. He's liking these. He's really liking these Thread Ups. This is the outfit that I was talking about that Derek walked in on and loved. It's a little more old school. Would you? I say vintage. Like, I don't know. Like Vintagey. Anyway. This is the last one. Again, these were just great prices. You guys need to get yourself some fall clothes, honestly. This was super fun. How was the park? All right, Jack. Jack, about five days ago, got this new bike. Yeah. It's called a Super 73. Yeah. And it's the coolest bike in the world. It's a little electric bike. It's made for kids that are four and up, like four to eight or something. Sorry, there's a lawnmower coming. Jack doesn't like the lawnmower. It's okay, buddy. He's just a lawnmower. He's a nice guy. We got this e-bike. I was like, it's gonna take Jack, I don't know, maybe a couple of months to get this down. It's just a little big. His feet can barely reach the ground. He rides it for the first time the other day. Yeah. Got it on his first try, huh? I sold my first I, I wasn't there. My back was too hurt, which it currently is still very hurt. But I didn't yeah. think he was gonna be able to ride it and missed his first try. He's literally riding a two-wheeler, an electric two-wheeler and can get his foot down by leaning and he'll hold himself up. I'm like, dude, you're insane. He's not even three yet. So 
Check this out. What's up there? I don't know. Are you going to ride over there? Yeah. Okay, do it. He'll literally get on it by himself and go. My turn! Ready, right, no! Jack! No! Jack! Buddy! Jack, you alright? Buddy! Why? No, you don't go up this, Jack. <laughs> you gotta turn back. <laughs> Come here, you crazy guy. That was awesome. Here. That was awesome, Jack. Here. <laughs> You're insane. Just turn and keep going that way and then turn around, okay? You just do circles. Don't go by the lawnmowers. Nice job. Turn around, yeah. I'm not kidding when I say he started riding this two days ago and got it his second try. And at first, I, he would, every time he'd stop, he'd fall over. But then like slowly, he started figuring out how to put his foot down. I'd have to start him off going, but now he'll just start on his own. It's crazy how fast you can progress within a couple days. How come you're so good at riding? Do you just feel really natural on it? Does it just feel comfortable, like it's too easy? Yeah. Yeah. They see you, Dada. See you, Dada. Go, go Jack, go Jack. He's so tiny on the bike. I'm not tiny. <laughs> yeah, Jack. Nice job, buddy. Woo! Turn. Where are you going? Jack, what are you? Jack! Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Dude, that was awesome. Break. Oh my gosh. Dude, you are freaking shredding on this thing. Go, Jack. That way? Yeah, try and turn right. There was this kid riding the bike down the road, standing up, and Jack was like, he's standing up. And now he's literally standing up on his bike. Oh my gosh. I think you're gonna be a pro dirt biker one day. I can't comprehend how good he is at such a young age. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, he honestly is so coordinated, so it's wild. talented. He's gonna be with you as his dad. He's gonna be some sort of extreme sports. Bless my soul and bless, bless our, our health insurance. <laughs> so cool to watch him because he just like has this determined face and he's so focused and just wants to be really good at it. And then he does, he, he does it. That's so cool. And then he's just like, dad, did you see it? Did you see it? I'm like, dude. I like didn't think that this phase of life happened until he was like five. He's yeah. not even three yet. No, so. he's riding a little two wheeler. He rides it better than me, honestly. <laughs> the e-bike's better than me. Yeah. Well, now I'm all ready. I'm in a little bit here going to Derek's sister's baby shower little get together. It's not really a baby shower. We're just like getting together with the girls. We're getting our toes done wow. and we're going to dinner, oh, which honestly, so cool. if you could see my toes right now, you're just jealous. You can't get a pedicure. I promised you guys I'd give a little update on Derek's back situation. So I'll let him tell you what's going on. Hi, my name is Derek. <laughs> How many times do you have to tell your followers and people that watch our videos that you are hurt? This is Again. a regular occurrence. Next video, I will be giving an update on some other injury. No, you won't. No, I no, won't. You won't. I no, you won't. No, you uh, won't. No, honestly, with you, probably not. You saw our last video. I'm walking. I'm stoked. I'm like, okay, this is happening. But obviously my right leg was way weak. It was like super weak. And so I was compensating heavily for that, putting a lot more weight on my left leg still. And I could feel my back flexing weird to try to kind of help. And then like a couple days later, all of a sudden my back like locked up and I can't stand straight. So my, I like, I'm standing like, like I mean, it's, it's better today. Yesterday it was like this all day, but I'm getting a little better. I'm still a little off but it's just pretty much locked in my back. And if I try to stand straight, it just sends a zap through my whole lower back. And it's like really bad pain. I sat for six weeks doing nothing, absolutely nothing. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I can walk again. 
and my back was not ready for that. And talking to the chiropractor yesterday, I'm pretty sure it's just just needs to a rest result and of heal. Me trying to use my other leg to compensate with this one, but I'm walking. I'm walking. Yeah. But the back is obviously making it hard now. Yeah, can't be fun. I tried surprising Sarah with the trip to Hawaii, and and we talked it about was, it. It was it was the nicest thing, and honestly, a great surprise. Like. Yeah, because I was like, okay, she's taking care of me, Jack, and Sunny for six weeks. But she was like, you're not going to be able to do it with your knees. For some reason, I just like knew. I'm like, he, My I just... My knees, if the back thing didn't happen, I would have been totally fine. I don't know yes, why I call yeah. it intuition. I had a feeling that yeah. you just needed me this week and things were crazy. Yeah. And I still would love to go take a little break and, I mean... Go to yeah. Hawaii and see my friends for a little bit, but the timing was just not great. Been, and now you would have, you would have completely. That would have been really bad. You wouldn't have been able to do it this week if I had gone. So Thanks. I'm sad and glad that I stayed. But yeah, you're doing anyway. great. Thank doing you. Great. Thank you. All right, Jack. Good night, buddy. Hey, why are you eating bread? You just ate pizza. He <laughs> loves his bread like his mama. <laughs> We went out and rode bikes some more when Sarah got back with Tanner, hey, Ozzy, Lauren, Stella. They all came over. Nene, hey, Jack. Nene, hey, buddy. Hey, I love you. I love you. I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. You're the best. You're my best buddy. Oh, I freaking love him. We went out and rode some more. They rode up and down the street in our cul-de-sac. So that was huge. We were a little nervous, but he doesn't fall when he's riding it. He'll mostly just fall when he stops. Still surviving over here. Uh, this place will get a lot cleaner when I can help and bend down and stand and not be in pain. Anyway, on that note, we're gonna do this now. I don't know what we're gonna do. You're gonna do this. It's like two people are quiet, so. I'll cheer you on. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe next time I will have a working back and working knees. Maybe the house will be more and put together. And maybe the house will be more put together. It'd be a real sweet surprise. And maybe we'll do a house tour. Like we said, we were going to do this one. Maybe next week. Okay. You guys are amazing. Thanks for hanging around. Thanks for watching our videos. It means the world. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.